Hi there, I'm Stuart Saunders from Typhoon Defence and today we're going to talk about the basics of loading, the equipment that you need um, and how to set yourself up so that you can load fast and win competitions. First thing I want to talk about is your clothing. So I'm wearing a race shirt. The race shirt's made out of material which is uh, smooth and shiny so it doesn't catch the gun. Um, it is better to wear a compression top and you see some of the top shooters uh, wearing them but obviously uh, people with my profile don't tend to do very well in compression tops, so I go for the shiny race shirt. Now if it's cold you need to wear layers rather than bulky clothes, so I've got a 5'11 base layer on here and I've got a t-shirt underneath. And that's the way you go with cold weather, is to build it up in layers rather than bulk. If you wear a big coat you're going to catch the gun and you'll have problems with loading. So that's the top half of me. Now with um, loading box guns, um, magazines are heavy. So you have to have a means to hold them and hold them securely in the same place every time. So the, the basics of that is, if I just pan down here, you need to have an inner belt and whatever trousers you're wearing, obviously these aren't my shooting trousers, but I'm just wearing them here today when I'm practicing, um, a belt with loops on it, sorry, trousers with, uh, with loops on and the inner Velcro belt. Then on top of this, you need to have your belt rig and this is the double alpha that I recommend. Um, I've got no connection to the company, it's just the best kit that's available. So double alpha sell the inner belt and the outer belt. And this is a very rigid material. And then onto the belt, we put the um, dorsal woodland blades mag holders. And I've got a separate video on them. But basically it's a Kydex mag holder, um, very durable, very tough. And on the back side of them, we have a two mil spring steel bracket. So there's very little flexing on it. So moving on to the gun, uh, the next thing that we need to, to be really quick is a magwell. Uh, two different versions. So here we have the one piece um, 3D printed and that slips onto the gun. And this is the two piece plastic version um, which has uh, two Allen bolts and it comes in two halves, fits onto the gun and then you tighten up the bolts. One thing to remember, these, these are an aid, and what these do is, if you're a little bit off with the magazine, they help to guide it in with the, the sides of it. So it makes it a larger target for you to aim the magazine or the top of the magazine into the gun. And they help with those, those times where you're just a little bit off and they'll guide it in. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't practice without this and you can't um, shoot without this. I shot half a season without a magwell because there wasn't one available. Um, you just need to be better with your drills and you need to be more accurate with um, the placement of the magazine. I don't use an extended um, mag release. I used to, um, but there is uh, some problems with that and I'll come to that when we talk about technique. Now one thing I do use is a palm rest and obviously I've made mine excessively large. You no need to do that. This is the Diogo grip, which is a, a fatter grip. You see it's fatter in profile than the standard and it comes with a palm rest and that's this plastic piece here. And what the palm rest does is it allows your, the base of your hand to push down on it as you're pushing up on the gun when you're one-handed. Okay, and it allows for some stability when you're using the gun one-handed. The other thing that I've done with my gun, I've changed the, the stock. Um, it's uh, Magpul CTR. Um, I have no great love of Magpul CTRs, just happened to have one in the cupboard. But what I really wanted to put on the gun was this, and this is a Magpul Limb Saver which is their soft, spongy, grippy, foamy pad on the end. And what I find with this is it helps grip the shoulder when I'm one-handed in the reload. So pulling it back into my shoulder, that's a nice grippy surface there. And it also helps with recoil, or perceived recoil, because it makes it nice and comfy. So that's the basics of the gun, um, what I'm wearing, and the belt kit. Now, the next video that we'll look at is how to set that kit up so that it works the best for you. Um, see you in a bit.